I got it. I'll learn how to code. That'll fix everything. Yes. Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Tiffany, I create things that live online and this is one of them. You wanna learn how to code, don't you? You like coding? You interested in coding? Well stay tuned because I'm gonna tell you why maybe, just maybe, you shouldn't learn how to code. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and we'll get started as soon as you do those things. Have, have you done it? <laughs> We're waiting on you. Hey, you in the blue shirt. Hello. Yes, you. I will learn how to code because I've seen that you can make a ton of money. <sighs> Man, think of all the things I could buy. No. If you're only coding just for strictly monetary purposes and it's only because you can earn a big bag of salary monies you're going to be in it for the wrong reasons and also you're going to be disappointed when you don't get the amount of money that you thought that you were going to get there are so many things on the website that says you can earn a hundred thousand dollar salary and and it's just like whoa those things are the things that people reach to i get it that's enticing but think about it if you don't have the drive to continue forward, it's gonna to be tough to really consistently keep up with the trends and everything that's happening in the tech space. Coding is very complicated. There's a lot of new things all the time that you have to learn, depending on like, you know, what your language is, what's happening within that language space. There's a whole bunch of updates that happen and frameworks and all sorts of things. So just be prepared to keep up with the technology that you're using. I want to make my own website, okay? And if I learn how to code, then I can make my own website and I don't want a job or anything. I don't want to freelance. I'm not interested in all that. I just want to make my own website, and so therefore, I am going to learn how to code. Mm. Listen, I'm not saying that coding specifically because you want to make your own website is not a great idea. I'm not saying that. I will say that there are other resources out there that you could learn to make websites from without having to learn all these extra coding languages like Python and Ruby. And I'm not saying don't learn how to code. I'm just saying don't let that be your only reason for learning how to code is because you want a new website. You don't want a job in coding. You just want your own website. That's probably not the best decision unless you just like doing code for fun and then you could make a hobby out of it. Coding seems pretty easy. I could do that. Yeah. What, what do you do? Just like, you know, sit in the dark and like on your computer and just like Pretend like you're typing. That's the thing, right? I could do that. <laughs> yes, this would be great. I figure the most it'll take to learn how to code is, oh, I don't know, probably like two weeks. I'll learn everything. I mean, two weeks. And if I spend like maybe, I don't know, an hour a day, that should be fine, right? No, it's not. It's not, e listen, don't listen to her. It's not easy. This is very difficult. Coding is hard. You have to solve problems. Everyone thinks that you just bang on a computer all day and that you're in full darkness and you never talk to anybody. And I don't know what kind of movie they were watching, but that's not it. This is real life. And a lot of times you are not by yourself. You're in the trenches with other people and you all are part of the same goal of creating a great product or service or whatever platform that you're on. And that's what it's about. But you gotta have the passion to wanna do that. And it's gonna be days where it sucks. You don't wanna turn that computer on. Thought of you turning it on and then realizing that you don't know anything. However, if you can keep going and persevere and you're really excited about coding, then I think, hey, anything is possible if you put in the work to make it happen. Coding is the trendy thing to do. All the cool kids are doing it. Like. Everybody is coding every single day. There's like a little ad that pops up that tells me to go to a coding boot camp and whatnot. So therefore, I should learn how to code. It's the end thing to do. No, just no. Listen, so many people are just like, oh, coding is very trendy right now. 
I'm going to code. Please don't do that. Don't be one of those folks. Listen, it's fine that coding is popular and that's what all the popular kids are doing. They're coding, right? Well, maybe not all of them. But listen, the point of the story is just because it's trending and it's there, it just means it's that much harder to get into and it's that much harder to find your first job and it's that much harder to, to find gainful employment. All those things have to do with finding a job, don't they? I know. Hang with me here for a second. I'm just saying that if that's the only reason is because it's the end thing to do, maybe you shouldn't be doing it. I suggest finding something that aligns with your interests, that aligns with your goals, and then going from there. And if it happens to be coding, then welcome on into the club. This is where all the cool kids are. Well, maybe not that guy. So listen, I get it. Sometimes you find things online that will give you all these great things and paint this great picture of what it's like to code and what it's like to be a software engineer and a web developer and who knows what's the difference between both of those, right? <laughs> but the point of the story is that they'll paint a great picture for you and they'll make it look interesting. Truth of the matter is, it is very interesting. But it's not for everyone and that's okay. But I do encourage you that if any of these things I talked about in the video are kind of itching the interest of coding in terms of, hey, this could be a lucrative salary for me, or it's trendy right now, or I can make my own website, or perhaps you're thinking, this could be easy for me. I encourage you to try coding. So go to Codecademy, Treehouse, Free Code Camp, or any other place where there's code and kind of just jump in, build something, right? And then really take a step back and think to yourself, do I really want to spend all my days doing this? A lot of hours sat around solving difficult problems and trying to figure out how things work and really maybe not understanding how that thing worked but knowing that you feel good that it works now but then tomorrow comes and it's partially broken again so if you're interested in any of those things i encourage you to start coding all right so you're telling me this is going to be a lot harder than i expected all right okay so all right maybe i'll check out some online resources that are free and uh, see if I really like it and then I'll go from there. I'll do that. And hey, if you have more questions and maybe you're still not sure if this is for you, you know, ask an engineer. Ask me. Down below, you'll find a link and it has information where you could sign up for a 45 minute session with me where you could ask any questions that you have about coding in the tech industry um, that you may have had burning questions about. I don't know, maybe you don't have any burning questions and you don't need the link. And if that's the case, thanks for watching this video. But if you do have burning questions and you're trying to figure out which way is up, maybe you have some specific questions that you need answered, or maybe you just don't know where to start. Well, let me know. There's a link in the description below. Check it out. Sign up for a session with me and we could probably figure that out, or I could at least point you in the direction of somebody who can or some other resource that can. So thank you all for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it was helpful. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, people. Bye.